So, Netflix is going to be making the Chronicles of Narnia films. What could possibly go wrong? Yes, hello, mean friend, and welcome to yet another video. My, oh my, oh my, dear friends, welcome to yet another video. And you know that we have been talking about the fact that Hollywood is just milking one and the same thing over and over and over again. And it's all our favorite stories that we have been living with for, well, in many cases, decades and decades and decades. And that uh, the creativity is gone from Hollywood and they can't do any new films, any new stories that would uh, be standing on their own with their own new original characters and that would potentially claim uh, the post of legendary and that would influence people and filmmakers and normies for decades to come. No, that's unfortunately not the case and all that Hollywood can do today is just rehash the same as they call franchises or IPs over and over again. Well, Narnia's the next, uh, apparently. Please do look at the screen. Barbie director Greta Gerwig to write and direct two films for Netflix based on C.S. Lewis's The Chronicles of Narnia. Now, the uh, big uh, red flag here is Netflix. They don't have a great history of uh, adapting fantasy into uh, a film or TV show format. The most apparent case is The, the Witcher, of course, and me being <coughs> a lifelong fan of The Witcher novels, I have to say I would be very happy if The Witcher TV show, the entirety of it, just perished from the surface of the earth. And now this is going to be even more interesting in the months and years to come as uh, the films move into production, especially among the <coughs> more religious audience, my, myself. I'm a filthy heathen, you would call me. So, I mean, uh, this this aspect I'm very well aware of, but uh, I'm, I'm waiting and looking forward to my more religious uh, fans to post a lot of comments in my videos under that, because um, obviously C.S. Lewis is very well known to have uh, converted to Christianity, and Aslan being a clear allegory on the Jesus Christ. So we shall see. This 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 will become controversial very, very soon. But uh, let us dive into the article by bounding into comics and find out all about it. A new report claims that Barbie director Greta Gerwig will direct at least two films based on C.S. Lewis's The Chronicles of Narnia. This report comes from the New Yorker's Alex Barash, who reports following an interview with the director that she has a deal with Netflix to write and direct at least two films based on C.S. Lewis's The Chronicles of Narnia. It also comes amid Gerwig's agent Jeremy Barber telling the outlet, Greta and I have been very consciously constructing a career. Her ambition is to to be not the biggest woman director, but a big studio director. Interesting. And Barbie was a piece of IP that was resonant to her. Now, I mean, you should always strive and try to be the best, right? Like the best of the best at a certain field. This is just absolutely silly to be always and all the time pointing out, oh, I am, you know, the the best female this and that. And we love strong female protagonists. Why not just the best thing there is of all? Uh, because the world is cuckoo. But let us continue. The report comes after Netflix announced back in 2018 they would be developing multiple projects based on Lewis's The Chronicles of Narnia series. In their press release, the company detailed Netflix will develop new series and film projects based on C.S. Lewis's beloved The Chronicles of Narnia series. Under the terms of a multi-year deal between Netflix and the C.S. Lewis company, Netflix will develop classic stories from across the Narnia universe into series and films for its members worldwide. Netflix's chief content officer, Ted Sarando, said at the time, C.S. Lewis's beloved Chronicles of Narnia stories have resonated with generations of readers around the world. 
Families have fallen in love with the characters like Aslan and the entire world of Narnia, and we're thrilled to be their home for years to come. C.S. Lewis's stepson Douglas Gresham also said, It is wonderful to know that folks from all over are looking forward to see more of Narnia, and that the advances in production and distribution technology have made it possible for us to make Narnian adventures come to life all over the world. Netflix seems to be the very best medium with which to achieve this aim, and I'm looking forward to working with them towards this goal, Gresham added. By this, Netflix seems to be the best medium, yada yada. You mean you got a very nice fat check, yeah, because if you knew anything about the matter, you wouldn't be saying that. But of course, of course, I will not be a hypocrite. If I received a nice chunky, chunky, chunky check, I would also say, oh, Netflix is cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who wouldn't? In June 2019, it was reported by Variety that Coco writer Matthew Aldrich was hired to oversee its live-action ad- adaptations of C.S. Lewis's The Chronicles of Narnia book series as films and TV shows. There had not been much word since then. Three of L- Lewis's Narnia novels were adapted by Walden Media and Walt Disney Pictures between 2005 and 2010. The first film, The Lion, The Witch and The Wardrobe, grossed uh, seven hundred and twenty and a half million dollars worldwide. Prince Caspian, the second film, grossed uh four hundred and seventeen, and in uh, two thousand and eight, and the third one, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, grossed uh four hundred and eighteen million in twenty ten. Going is an interesting choice, given during the press tour for the Barbie film, she's made numerous comparisons between the film and Christianity. Yes, of course, it's bounding into comics, so they must mention like. Christianity, of course. Uh, most recently, it was revealed in The New Yorker that uh, when Gerwig of officially, originally pitched the film, she did it with a poem in the style of the Apostles' Creed. Back in May, while discussing the relationship between Barbie and Ken with Vogue, Gerwig said, Barbie was invented first, Ken was invented after Barbie, to burnish Barbie's position in our eyes and in the world. That kind of creation myth is the opposite of the creation myth in Genesis. Now, that is a very nice uh, comparison right there. But, I mean, things like that have been always happening in the toy industry. You've got one more case, which was, again, the opposite, uh, where the man was created first, like He-Man. He-Man! And then um, She-Ra was created so that girls also have their, like, He-Man toys, and so on and so forth. I'm a nerd, I love toys. And the article continues. She also discussed the Times' Eliana Docterman, um, that she pointed out there is an image in the film that copies Michelangelo's The Creation of Adam, that he painted on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Instead of Adam and God, the film depicts an image of Barbie creator Ruth Handler and Barbie. (laughs) Now that's pretty funny. Gerwig explained, it's on the uh, same trajectory and angle as the Sistine Chapel. Nobody is going to notice that, so I have to say it. Okay, thank you, I suppose. Not only has Gerwig made a number of comparisons between uh, the Barbie film and Christianity, she's also included a man pretending to be a woman as a Barbie <laughs> and cast a... Wow, 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 this, all right, all right then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are getting very, yeah, very political here again. And then they go into, of course, they go into uh, what C.S. Lewis wrote about Christianity, but we don't have to read it here. Uh, So what do you make of this? Are are you looking forward to The Chronicles of Narnia by Netflix? I'm not looking forward to anything that is being done by Netflix. Like like maybe the last season of, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Stranger Things, but that's really it. All right, then let me know in the comments down below what you think. Namariye.